located just off Newberry Road as part of the North Florida Regional Medical Center is Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine of North Florida, where Dr. Kokar and his team offer comprehensive pulmonary services. If a patient comes to see us at North Florida Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine, we would help them diagnose any breathing-related disorders such as asthma, COPD, pulmonary hypertension, or interstitial lung disease. Occasionally, unfortunately, we may see patients who have been diagnosed possibly with lung cancer, and we assist in the diagnosis, management, and treatment of that as well. So COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease. It's a disease that usually affects smokers. Its prevalence is around 15 million Americans. The signs and symptoms of COPD would be either a chronic cough that doesn't seem to go away, shortness of breath, and inability to perform daily tasks that a person was normally able to do. And one of the common causes of COPD is smoking and also uh, enzyme deficiencies like alpha-1 antitrypsin, which is a little less common. COPD is diagnosed primarily by a pulmonary function test. It's very similar to like you have an EKG for the heart. This is the EKG for the lungs, more or less. And it's a breathing test where several maneuvers are done to see how lung function is. Unfortunately, COPD is an irreversible process um, because once the lungs are damaged, they can't regenerate. But we can stop further damage to the lungs by stopping smoking and assisting in that process, as well as starting several inhaler medications which can help symptoms and improve quality of life. Smoking and COPD has been associated with heart disease, strokes, and lung cancer. If you're struggling to stop smoking, North Florida Regional has resources such as tobacco cessation classes which may be able to help you quit. One of the other major issues that we help people with is diagnosing and staging of lung cancer. Some of the warning signs may include a new cough, unintentional weight loss, or coughing up blood. So diagnosing lung cancer includes imaging as well as a biopsy. Imaging can range from MRIs to CAT scans to PET scans and the biopsy can either be done bronchoscopically or transthoracically. I went to my primary doctor because I was coughing. It was a dry cough, non-productive. We did a checks x-ray that shows a mass on my left lung. So she then sent me to Dr. Coker to do a biopsy. Dr. Coker and his personal was amazing doing this process. Sure enough, Dr. Coker called me one morning and told me, Mr. Ponte, I have bad news for you that tested positive for cancer. We're gonna have to move forward with surgery. That was on a Wednesday. On Friday, I was under surgery. I am a musician and I perform with a 13 pieces band. Three weeks after my surgery, I was on stage with the band feeling really well. I was taken care with the best care. Ever. The recovery times for lung cancer vary. It all depends on what type the cancer is and what stage the cancer is. Here we have minimally invasive techniques where we're able to diagnose patients early so potentially they could be back on their feet within a week. Here at North Florida Pulmonary and Sleep Medicine, we're part of a multidisciplinary team which assists in the diagnosing and staging of lung cancer. If you have any questions or concerns, please come on in and we'll be happy to talk to you.